So in this video, we're going to be designing the profile page. After designing the profile page, we're also going to be learning how to get the posts from the database. So quite similar to how we get them from the database on the homepage, except when we get them from the database on the homepage, we're selecting all the posts from users who we're following. But on the profile page, we're selecting all posts by the user whose profile page we're on. So you can see here's the user's profile here. If we zoom in a bit, you can see the username is up here at the top. We have this optional tick icon if the user is verified. We have this about us section. We have a list of the user's posts printed out here and then over on the right hand side we have this button for creating new posts. If I go to the browser you can see what this looks like and if I resize it you can see it resizes properly. So the first thing we have to do is go to Bootstrap Studio and we want to export this design. So we're going to click export. You can see it says it's been exported if we click on that. So wherever you export it to, you're going to end up with that file called profile.html and I'm just going to paste it in here into our project. So here's the file in the web browser here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get their username. So in our code, we're going to go to profile.php and we're also going to go to profile.html and we're going to select all, copy that and we're going to paste it in to profile.php. So we're going to paste it underneath everything just down at the bottom. Now if I go to profile.php, you can see we have our design underneath. So you can see here we're just echoing username's profile. So if I just copy that, Scroll down and paste it in here. Refresh. Now you can see it says Francis's profile. Up here it says verified. If I go in here and I just say if verified, then we'll echo that out. Otherwise we won't echo it out. So just like that, we'll be able to display the tick if the user is verified. So now if I refresh, scroll down, the tick is still there because I'm verified. If I go to SQL Pro and I change my verified status to zero, and I refresh, you can see the text just disappeared. The next thing we want to do is we want to select all of the posts that are being printed out. So to get all the posts, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our index page. So on index.html, if we scroll down, you can see here is how we get all of the posts. So we just want to copy all of this JavaScript from the index.html page. We want to go to profile.php and we want to scroll down to the bottom and we want to paste it in here below all of our script tags. What we want to do is scroll up I want to change it from API slash get posts to API slash get profile posts. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our API and we're going to scroll down and you can see here we have get posts. We're going to copy this and we're going to paste it in down below. You can see now we have another else if statement and what we're going to do is change it from get posts to get profile posts. So we don't need the token anymore. So we're going to delete that and we're going to get the user ID from the database by selecting user ID from users and we're going to select just the ID column from users where username is equal to username and the username is going to be the username of whoever's profile it is. So we're just going to put in username into here. It is going to be equal to get username. So once we've done that, so instead of getting the posts from the people the user is following, what we're going to do is we're going to select all of those columns and we're only going to select from users and posts and we're going to delete this where clause and just leave the second one and we're going to delete this other part of the where clause. So what we're going to do is just scroll across and change this from user ID to ID as well. And if we were to run this now, you can see we get every single post in the database printed out. So what we want to do to, to fix that is just say and users.id equals user ID. So we're only going to select posts for this user. So if I refresh now, you can see that it's just decreased. If I change this to verified, you can see we only get one post printed out because in the database, verified has an ID of six and there's only one post with that ID. So what we're going to do is go back to our index page, index.html and scroll up and you can see we have this div called timeline posts. So if I copy this and I go back to profile.php, you can see here are our posts. So each post is inside one of these li tags. So what we want to do is delete all these and we're going to paste in timeline posts. Then what we're going to do is go back to profile.html, scroll up and we just want to copy one of these posts. I go back to profile.php and the first thing we want to do is instead of going to api slash profile posts, we want to go to api slash profile posts, question mark username equals and here we want to put in a username. So in this case, it's going to be our username, which is going to be equal to echo username. Then what we want to do is scroll down here and you can see here is where we're accessing the timeline posts variable and here is where we're putting in the post data. So what we want to do is put in our slightly modified version of that. So we'll just hit enter a few times to move that out of the way and we just put in a new string and we'll paste in our post here. Then what we want to do is we want to get posts index post body, copy that and paste it up here just like that. Then we want to scroll across. We want to get posted by. We want to paste that in there. We want to get post date. And we have our data post ID here for comments. We want to copy that. Scroll across to our comment button and paste it in there. 
and we want to scroll across one more time and get the post ID for the like button. So to do that, we'll just copy this. You can see here we have our like button here. What we want to do is just scroll back and paste it in here. And it still looks like we have some errors, but that's just because we need to put all this on one line. And we just want to delete this old version of the post. And we just want to move this double quote over this string because otherwise we'll get an error. And we just want to do a couple more things. We want to scroll across and you can see here it says five likes. So we're just going to replace that with the actual number of likes. So we're going to put in a variable. We're going to say posts index dot likes. We're going to scroll across again and you can see comments. We have a number here, but we aren't actually numbering our comments. So we're just going to delete that. And we're going to go back into index.html. Scroll up and you can see here is our modal window. Here's the window we use for displaying comments. So we're going to copy that, go to profile.php and we'll just paste it in here. And finally, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll up on profile.php and we're just going to delete this form and we're going to delete these posts and we're just going to use HTML comments to comment out this form just to hide that as well. And now if I refresh, you can see we have our new profile page. It has a design. It shows I'm a verified user. You can see all of my posts printed out here. They're all different posts. If I go to another user, you can see the verified has one post. If I like that post, I've already liked it. So if I click it again, now I've just re-liked it and it says it has one like. If I click on view comments, I can see all of the comments associated with that post. You can see verified isn't actually verified. So if I go into users, go to verified and I set their account to a one. You can see now they're verified. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.